Hi everyone, Andy Glasser with Glass Impressions. CNC systems are becoming very popular in the past few years, and today I finally have my hands on one. It's the CNC Shark by Nextwave Automations, available at rockler.com. Today I'm going to bring you along for the ride as I set up the machine, download the software, and make our first cut. So stick around, hope you enjoy. The CNC Shark HD with extended bed has been reinforced to handle up to a two and a quarter horsepower router or water-cooled spindle. In my case, I went with a water-cooled spindle. The unit boasts an amazing XYZ capacity of 50 inches by 25 inches by 7 inches. Enhanced controller utilizing more powerful stepper motors allow up to 200 inches per minute. The heavy interlocked aluminum T-slot top allows for more versatile clamping. The unit comes with a very powerful CNC Shark control panel that has a very unique feature. It's called Virtual Zero. It maps the surface of your CNC to compensate for any warped or twisted boards. Now let's get down to assembly. With the help of my wife, we lift the table onto Rockler's customizable shop stand. It is recommended to have an additional person to help you set this up, but utilizing wood blocking to help support the gantry during installation will allow the assembly to be completed by yourself. Simply lift the gantry into place and insert the included bolts through the gantry and into the brackets on the base unit. Next, secure the bolts in place by tightening the included lock nuts. After the gantry is in place, we can assemble the router spindle carriage. Place the correct mount on top of the housing and also one below the housing. Connect these two plates using the included bolts and lock nuts. If you have purchased the optional dust boot, now is the time to install it. Secure it just below the bottom mount. Install your router or spindle and secure in place by tightening the two mounting plates. Next we need to connect the electronics. Grab your control box and included cables. Connect the power cord and the USB to the control box. Grab the cables coming from the stepper motors on the machine and connect them to the corresponding sockets on the control box. X to X, Y to Y, Z to Z. Now connect the other end of the USB to your computer or laptop and insert your installation CD included in your packaging. Install both the Shark CNC control software and the Vectric VCAR Pro CAD and CAM software using the easy to follow on screen directions and prompts. Once installed, you can now begin designing your first project. Please check out my short video on designing our star. I create and size a 5 point star in VCAR Pro. Then I assign an outside profile toolpath with the addition of 4 tabs to hold the star in place when we cut through the material. Next we need to prepare our material. I use a straight edge to find the center of our 8 inch square 3 quarter of an inch stock and then apply two pieces of double sided tape. I press our prepared stock into the work surface. Please take note I have clamped a piece of 3 quarter inch MDF to my table so I don't cut into our aluminum top during the through cut tool profile. Next we can open our CNC control software. Once open, click the jog tab. Use the buttons to move the gantry. You can select the speed you want the CNC to operate or move using a set number of steps. Position the bit in the center of the material using the marks we made earlier. 
Use a slow or medium speed to get it a quarter inch above our mark. Next, change the speed using the minus button on the step selection. This will slow down the machine, allowing us to monitor the position of the bit. We can use a plain white sheet of paper to establish our Z0. When the paper can't move, you know the bit is just in the right spot. Move to the set XYZ button and zero out your machine in the top left corner of your screen. Next click load G code and select the file you created earlier. Then hit run file. The machine will calculate. Upon completion of the calculation, click OK. Make sure your spindle or router is in the on position and is at full speed before starting. I have removed the optional dust boot for video purposes. I'm using a wand attachment on my shop vac to collect the dust. An additional video will be created in the future on all the available accessories to the CNC Shark HD. Notice the bit moving up and down creating the four tabs we made earlier. These tabs will keep the star in place as we cut through the material. If we did not have these tabs, the star would be cut free and rattle inside the pocket, most likely ruining the star. Once the cutting is completed, we can move the gantry out of the way and use a putty knife to remove our material. To remove the star, we need to cut through the tabs we made. You can do this using a few different options. A bandsaw, handsaw, jigsaw, or even a chisel as I'm doing here. After it has been separated, you can use a chisel, power sander, or even hand sanding to remove the remaining part of the tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick product assembly and demonstration of my Shark CNC HD with extended bed by Next Wave Automation, available at rockler.com. I hope this video inspires you to jump head first into the world of CNCs and bring a little technology, accuracy, and precision to your shop. If you'd like to know more about Rockler CNCs, visit your local Rockler or visit rockler.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.